When Elizabeth Harry suffered a concussion, her team's athletic trainer was the first to help. The trainer came over and she took me to the, her office right away and got me checked out. In addition to assessing injuries, athletic trainers help enforce state concussion laws, but that's not always easy. The Center for Injury Research and Policy at Nationwide Children's Hospital conducted a study to examine the barriers that athletic trainers face when implementing the three main components of concussion laws. Educating parents and coaches with simple tools to help them prevent and identify concussions can be difficult. Many schools, they use the concussion materials including a lot of uh, complex medical terms. Go. When a head injury does occur, one of the biggest challenges to removing an athlete from the game, you can't see a concussion. They experience dizziness, no one knows they experience dizziness, or they have a blurred vision, um, no one sees they have a blurred vision. Hiding these symptoms is often encouraged through an old school philosophy from coaches and parents that athletes need to tough it out after a head injury. Because of that, to create an environment that encourage athletes play through the symptoms without reporting them. I have seen patients that have uh, been injured worse from continuing to play and end up missing the whole season rather than a game or two. But experts say it is critical to get an athlete out of the game and seen by a physician who is specifically trained to treat concussions. Concussion is diagnosed clinically, so the doctor will ask questions about what happened with the injury, what kind of symptoms developed, and then do a neurologic exam. Athletic trainers reported many athletes don't have access to this specialized care, which makes it difficult to know if and when they have recovered and are ready to get back to their sport. Elizabeth is now back to 100% after working with her doctor and trainer to find the right treatment. I really like basketball and I'm really glad I got to come back to my normal self. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.